high school dropouts advice here. So today we will talk about Neo. There was a job opening on LinkedIn a couple of days ago where Neo had a job opening for someone who will develop American business strategies as you can see in this source right here. The job responsibilities is to formulate an action plan to enter the US market and pull through the cluster resources in the headquarters space on key deliverables. If you want to know if this is a wise choice of NEO to enter the US market and you want to know what my price target for NEO is, please subscribe to my channel where I analyze many exciting stocks, teach you how to invest in real estate and how to obtain a wealthy and healthy mindset. And if you subscribe now, then this is your future. Or when you are female, then this is what you get. So when you did subscribe yet, then let's get started. You might already know that NEO will expand to Europe and they will offer their cars later this year. Look at this. Europe has around 280 million cars. This is a sizable market and we know that many countries will not allow car makers to build cars that use fossil fuels anymore or internal combustion engine vehicles. This is what they call the phase out stage. And you can see the timeline for the current countries as you can see in this source right here. We can all expect that the list will get longer very soon. Now that we know that it's good to enter the European market, let us look at how the US market looks. So the US has very similar number as Europe. It has around 276 million cars. So it makes sense for NEO to expand, but this is only at the first sight. Let me show you a few things we need to consider because this is important for NEO investors to understand. So we know what risk is involved in NEO's business decision. China has 240 million cars now and you might think this is less than the US and Europe but let me remind you that China has a population of nearly 1.4 billion and US has around 328 million and Europe has around 446 million. So China has nearly double the population than Europe and the US together. The next fact we need to keep in mind is that China has surpassed the US for passenger cars. The biggest market in the world for passenger vehicles is in China, as you can see right here. This is why Elon Musk's priority was to launch the Shanghai Gigafactory soon as possible because he knew that China China is the biggest market. NEO is forced of course also to enter Europe and US market to defend its ground. But I have to say that Europeans are very proud of their cars and they would prefer the European brand to any other brand. I can say that because I was born and grew up in Germany. So it's not easy for NEO to conquer ground. Still, even if they did, they will face a much bigger problem that only little NEO investors are aware. And this is the fact that NEO is running out of capacity to produce more cars. You might or you might not know that NEO is working with JAC or Jack, a Chinese state-owned car manufacturer. So NEO has no manufacturing company. NEO designs the car and then outsources it with Chinese car makers. The problem with JEC is that the capacity of the Heifei advanced manufacturing plant is at 100,000, as you can see in this source. Another problem NEO will face is that Jack is owned by Volkswagen by 50%. But Volkswagen bought another 25% in December. So they own 75% of Jack now. You know that Volkswagen is a German car brand that owns Audi, Seat, Skoda, Bentley, Bugatti, Lamborghini, Porsche, Ducati, and Scania, and MAN. And of course, Volkswagen. So they could theoretically kick NEO out and produce their EVs in China with the JAC plant. The CEO William Lee is aware of the risk, which he said in the earning release in December last year. We may be unable to enter into new agreements or extend existing agreements 
with third-party manufacturing partners on terms and conditions acceptable to us and therefore may need to contract with other third parties or significantly add to our production capacity. So let me also show you how long they still have this manufacturing plant under contract. In April 2019 and March 2020, in addition to the first 36 months after the start of production. So it means like maybe roughly two more years. So the plant has given them a contract for three years and those would be up in like I think would March 2023. And then the owner Volkswagen could kick them out. And let me tell you that we have the same problem with the batteries. Neo is not making the batteries in house. They have outsourced it to CATL and this is who the company is who delivers EV batteries to NEO. But CATL is a strong company, the second largest EV battery manufacturer in the world by market share as you can see here. Suppose you are interested in EV battery manufacturer, in that case I recommend you watch my video about Panasonic which I link up here and in the description below if you are looking for a good stock. Please watch the video, it would not waste your time I promise. And one more thing, if you have no brokerage account to buy stocks I recommend you we which I also link down below. Use my link to open an account and receive two stocks worth up to 1850 if you use my link and deposit at least 100 bucks. So anyway, let us get back to CATL. It's a strong company with a strong market cap as you can see right here. But please also note that the market cap is in RMB which is the Chinese currency. It's not a close to 1 trillion company. The company is at, at around like 155 billion market cap. So it's about two times the market cap of NEO or 1.5 times. So NEO got a very strong partner on board. But the problem is that CATL also has contracts with Mercedes-Benz and other great car makers. So it means that NEO will not have better batteries than other car makers who buy the same batteries at CATL. This will lead us to one of the problems I mentioned earlier. Europeans are quite loyal to the European brands. If NEO cannot win with the specs and better batteries, Europeans tend to buy their European brand cars. So NEO will get quite difficult to get a sizable market share. It would be best if you also remember that NEO has no factories outside of China making the cars for them. This means they have to ship it to Europe and the US. This will cost them shipping costs and import taxes. So the question is, can they still offer the car at a competitive price? This is something nobody can answer now. But for sure, this is a problem NEO will face. So let's move on to the solution NEO found. NEO partnered up with GAC. Let me show you who this GAC group is. It's a huge company which make cars for Fiat, Honda, Isuzu, Mitsubishi and Toyota in China. So the GAC group is not a newbie to car making. We also see that GAC capacity can get up to 600,000 with free production sites but we don't know how much they can be used for NEO because they are still manufacturing for other companies. So the car they want to produce is the high Icon 007, which is a nice car in my opinion. There's also an exciting partnership with Alibaba backed Banma, which should help the GAC NEO partnership to have an intelligent voice interaction system. So let me sum up the problems again to weigh the risks we have with NEO. Unlike Tesla, NEO is not manufacturing their cars themselves, so they depend on their partners, but their partners will also work with NEO's competitors. So once the competitors enter the EV market competition, batteries from CATL get also sold to the competition. So there would be no significant difference in the specs. All the specs difference will be based on software. And even there, this gap will get smaller and smaller because everything what Neo put in his car, other car makers can buy it from the same source if Neo has no exclusive contract with those partners. At one point, Neo has to either 
either build a manufacturing plant, get an exclusive partnership or get many innovative partnerships which keeps them ahead of the competition or has to acquire a manufacturing plant. Otherwise, the head start Neo got at the moment in the EV industry will get smaller and smaller. Just lovely and well-designed cars won't be enough if scalability becomes an issue and specs are not differing from competitors. Another problem is profitability. Outsourcing saves money in the beginning and speeds up your process to get production and cars rolling out. But in the long term, it cuts into your margin and profits because you have to pay those partners. So even the news sounds good that NEO is expanding to Europe and the US. This this expansion is not without challenges. I would have rather seen that NEO is acquiring a manufacturing plant or building one than thinking about expanding. NEO already has a significant market to conquer in China and should focus on the big market in China first. The Chinese market is big enough for NEO size today. So I'm not very thrilled about the news. I am really excited to see how NEO plans to solve this problem in the next two or three quarters i do not doubt that the sales will continue in the next two and three quarters to grow but the problems ahead will not be avoidable if neo keeps outsourcing to different companies if you outsource with different companies and don't get one part of the assembly line your whole production will come to a halt so for me with all those news i think neo is at a fair price for now so the price target is actually at around 60 and let me mention I'm even a NEO bull and I hold close to 1000 NEO stocks with an average cost basis of around $18 as you can see here. So I hold NEO for quite a while now but even when I tell you that the price target is at around 60 the stock will most likely get hyped up and trace higher until the market face the problem. Then we get a shake off of about maybe 20 to 40 percent. So if you are a long-term investor be prepared for an up and down also let me mention that i'm not a financial advisor so please take all my information and research as entertainment value only you are the one who is responsible for your money i am just a guy on youtube who wants your subscription to my channel where i talk more about stocks investment and how to obtain a wealthy and healthy money mindset thank you so much see you hopefully in the next video thank you bye oh man Sick Nick Finn J G G Combat Oh man again we'll be sad where we will be sold